Welcome to Sex Education. In this video, we will give you a brief introduction to the reproduction section of our website. We will answer the question of where babies come from and how pregnancy happens. Before we start, let's talk about the male and female reproductive system. The male reproductive system is made up of two testicles inside of a sack of skin called the scrotum. These testicles make sperm. Each sperm looks like a tadpole and has half of the information needed to make a baby. These sperm then move through a collection of different tubes and have other fluids added to them. This creates something called semen. Eventually, this semen passes out of the last tube of the male reproductive system, called the urethra, which is found inside the penis. The female reproductive system is made up of two ovaries which store eggs. These eggs have the other half of the information needed to make a baby. Once a girl starts getting her period, an egg gets released once a month into a long tube that's sitting next to it called the fallopian tube. The female reproductive system also includes the uterus, a big muscle shaped like an upside down pear, a cervix, which is the entrance to the uterus, and a vagina, which is a canal that leads to the outside of the body. During sexual intercourse, the penis becomes raised and hard. It enters the vagina and releases semen. This semen then goes through the cervix, into the uterus, and then into the fallopian tube. One of the sperm found in the semen enters the egg that is in the fallopian tube. This process is called fertilization. This fertilized egg contains both halves of the information needed to make a baby. The egg then travels into the uterus and attaches to its wall. The cells divide and grow and make something called a fetus, which eventually grows into a baby. This whole process after the attachment of the egg takes about nine months and is called pregnancy. Becoming pregnant and having a baby is a very big responsibility. Similarly, deciding to have sex is a decision that should be made carefully. It is something that nobody should ever be forced or pressured to do. Even for those who think that they are ready to have sex, it's important to take time to prepare in order to avoid certain types of infections or unplanned pregnancy. This is called safe sex and is discussed in more detail in the birth control and infection section of our website. Thank you so much for watching.